Hello and welcome back to Adam. Yeah. Um. So here we are, dungeon level 45 of the Caverns of Chaos. Um, I've been considering if I should go and visit some other places out on the surface. Uh, but I think not. Um. There's a place called The Rift I could enter, but I've never been there, and it's... Uh, I just took a quick look at the weekend, it's supposed to be really difficult, so... Nah. Oh. That is a Mimic Hive Mind. Mm-hmm. What are you? <clears throat> uh. They, oh, they can attack six times and cost 74 points on average. I've killed one. Um, maybe it can't see me. I'll shoot him. Let's see, we have construct layers. No, I want thunderstroke. Um, so yeah, there's, um, the rift is one possible place to go, but I will not, um, then there's the Minotaur maze, where I've also never been, um, supposedly quite confusing if you don't have magic mapping or, um, Magic map and teleport. I don't really have a lot of those, I think. Um, oh, mummy, quick mummy. There's also the the water cave. We could um, go there and find the the mother of. What's his name? Bloop? The, 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 the baby dragon in Torino. Um Which... Oh god, what's that down there? Um, it might be worth it to go to the... Okay, we have swimming at 100 and several water breathing items. Uh, what are you? You're a chaos warrior. Some experienced. Yeah. Once humanoid being converted by the powers of chaos into a living weapon. Uh, multiple limbs, swords, axes, spears. So there's really no, um, there's no point in going to that, um, water dragon cave, I think. We are not born in a raven star sign, so we wouldn't get reward until level 36, and, uh, I don't know if we will ever reach level 36 with this guy. Uh, I don't know. Um... Uh, probably more of this level. Your distant harumph. Okay. What is harumphing around in here? It's a dawn beast. Booze. 
take the booze. Um, here but no there's nothing there oh you are a little emperor it could be a bit difficult oh uh no yes okay message there. I feel truly excited. Oh my god. That's a great revolt. And it seems to be a vault of giants. Uh, let's just close this door and explore the rest of the level first. What was that? Oh, I think I got a corruption. You sport kills. Oh, that's, that's nice. Appearance down to eight now, and we have intrinsic water breathing. Wow, okay, that seems like a, a corruption with very little downsides. Speaking of little downsides, there's a potion of toughness. Nice, I... we have. 11 potions of holy water, so we can. Uh, we have lots of unidentified things? No. Let's just. right away. Um, let me see. Potions. Potion of. toughness. Let's dip it into holy water so we are sure that it's blessed. Now we drink this. And we get two more points of toughness. Excellent. 449 hit points. Okay, so. Um, no, fire elemental. Greater fire elemental. Dark Elven Princess Corpse. So yeah, Giant Vault. That shouldn't be much of a problem since... If my memory ser serves me well... Um, Skullcrusher is a humanoid slayer, right? Yeah. Should be. Um, also, it would be nice to in improve these stats on these bracers. Do we have scrolls of... Um, scroll of defense, scroll of protection, no. Three scrolls of defense. We can probably use those later to... Uh, and I'm also just curious here. I th I'm not sure if this is the first time I'm in a greater vault, you know, as as a player. My, it's the first time for Bong, I'm pretty sure. But um, we have monster detection, three charges. And several ones of wonder we should use. Hello, what? Oh my god. We have a wand of wishing. Where did that come from? I'm... Oh my god. Get the zero charges, and I don't think you can recharge a wand of wishing, but we can get one last charge out of the wand. 
Ooh, yeah, that means we have a wish. There's four monster detection. And we have three more there. Okay. That should be enough for a while. Um, I also wanted to... Still have our amulet of life saving, yes. <laughs> okay, this is... <clears throat> all pretty good to <laughs> say the least and I was thinking about um, do we have a potion of exchange yes we have two it would be cool to try to dip some of those superfluous rings we have so many rings we don't need could get lucky and get a ring of Ginny summoning for example, two rings of invisibility we don't need, four rings of cold resistance we don't need, you know. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm gonna have to make some notes. Okay, so let's get started on this. First. <laughs> uh, my mind, where is it? Okay, monster detection. <clears throat> so, oh my... Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of giants. It's gonna be a lot of XP and there's gonna be some 217. Okay. Yeah, a lot of XP, a lot of um a lot of uh loot. So what do we have here? I see frost giants, I see fire giants. I see hail giants, uh, Fomorian giants, two headed ones are Ettons, I think. Uh, I don't think there's any Titans. I think this is just a frost giant Yar or King or something. Okay, we should be able to deal deal with this. He said confidently. <laughs> Here we go. Oops. Especially since they can't see me. Strength of Atlas. Uh, not gonna run out of food in here. Obsidian javelin. Hmm. Guess these are ogre lords. Obsidian javelin. Uh, okay, that could be an artifact. Maybe. I'm not sure. Or just a javelin of some sort. Uh, Warhammer, money. You can go aggressive. Poison. So, um, is this <laughs> going well? Um, not going to be too much to talk about doing this. Um, I'll pick up anything that can possibly, blah, 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 possibly be an artifact or something interesting. Whoa! Okay, yeah, there, there's, um, 
There's often often these large piles of gold in the vaults. Oh, these are stone giant, not frost. Ultra healing, excellent. Silver helmet, that's probably um, <clears throat> probably a helmet with like a helmet of beauty or something that increases your appearance. The silver headgear is usually is usually that, or maybe always. We're getting about a thousand XP per giant, some are more. So. Um, least 200,000 XP in this place. Um, probably, a, probably a lot more. bad I think me a bit there. The fire giant critically hits you. We should go back to normal mode. Maybe. Destruction uh, may be useful in a rare, rare case, but probably not. Okay. Well, this is going to be a. <clears throat> Take a while, but I I want to do it, you know, for the um, the XP and the loot. hands for all these rings. <laughs> Would it be cool if there was a corruption that could... Maybe there is. I haven't heard about it, but... If there was a corruption that could... Uh, like give you two extra hands. Or extra fingers or something to wear. <laughs> More rings. Uh, 
for example in uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, you know, you can play an octopus kind of character which can wear eight rings. Okay, but here's a vampire. It's a possible challenge. It's, uh, he can drain. Oh, there we go. Why is my strength 39? Why did I unequip? Who oh, the elemental earth gives toughness plus 10. Ooh. Dang it, he drained a point of toughness and strength. Um, how can we easily kill him? How about... Wand of acids, possible. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Lightning. Yeah, sure. Nope. Defensive mode. There we go. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Nice. Vampires draining you. But I think we can deal with it. Sling bullets. Uh, let's try to take out the western part of the vault first now. Uh, water. Dagger could. There are artifact daggers in the game, so. Maybe. I don't know if there are any artifact shields. There probably is. from the the potion of toughness hmm, bracers copper bracers Ooh, what if we get the bracers of war those are pretty cool Fireballs. Money. What a er, leather apron. Hmm. Gauntlets. Always. Whoops. Let's could be good, who knows? Boost perception. I don't think I'll ever use that. I don't know, but Okay. Um <clears throat> another big pile of gold. Would be nice to find an an altar down here. Could just 
Sacrifice some stuff. For some money. To be precise. Saber. Those are any good. Um, well, cold. Scroll of power. Don't need to pick up any slings because we have the only artifact sling in the game already. Uh, the whirlwind. ring, an unknown ring. Huh. Let's hope for a Ginny summoning ring. Ring of Ginny summoning, that would be good. Gnomish boots, I think those are just normal. Normal boots, quite. <clears throat> Shell armor. Uh, I'll pick up anything that's remotely possible. Uh, that's even remotely possibly good, like I've said. And later on, I'll just identify it all and uh, drop what I don't need. So, what was that armor that was laying there? A plate mail. I'll take it. coffee cup. Mm. I also did take a quick look at the good old wiki. There is indeed an artifact shield one can find, so... We'll have to clear mine, okay. always a uh, fairly crappy orcish helmet of some sort, but you never know. I'm always a bit optimistic when items are named like, you know, blue gauntlets. Ooh, an air grew. Okay. 
I've met those before. <clears throat> Even though, as we know, um, poor Bong will probably never be able to read uh, or learn any spells from books. <laughs> yeah, he tried and failed several times, so probably not. Okay, more giants. Flickering potion, that's an unknown potion. Okay, so <clears throat> we seem to be approaching the end here. Brass bracers. Powerful character. Yeah. Oops. Let's take a quick look at these piles before we <coughs> declare this vault as finished. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks like the entire vault. I also rem remember this is not my first time in a greater vault. I've also been to at least one in um, the Frost Giant Cave. Oh god, no. Annoying spiders. Yeah, literacy increased. Uh, hmm. I guess it's time now to read. No, it's time to dip. These 11 scrolls of identify into holy water. So we have more than enough blessed scrolls of identify. Read one. Let's have a look at what we have picked up. <clears throat> Cram regeneration, elf beauty, orcish crap, yes. <gasps> look at this. That's gonna be an artifact. Perion's Mithril Plate Mail. Cool. Okay, let's see, let's drop the 
we have that one before? Yeah, I think we did. Don't need these. Nice Eternium cap. Um, normal plate mail. Shell armor of leadership. Scale mail of protection. Um, nah. Large Eternium shield plus 11 plus 8. Wow. That's a pretty nice shield. Um, don't need this crap. Blessed light cloak, no. Um, what shield are we using? We're using this tower shield. This one is, yeah, two less points of defense, but a lot more protection. That's never wrong, I think. And we are using red dragonite gauntlets with nice protection value there. Well, I'll never use this gauntlets of strength, will I? Well, uh, hmm. <laughs> We don't need these when we have the blue. No. I don't remember my immunities. Uh, well, let's just keep stuff just in case. Any good boots here? No. Well, I know which boots are nice, but. So. <clears throat> Artifact Shining Long Spear Soaker. Cool, I've never seen that before, never heard of it. Don't even know what it is, to be honest. Um, <laughs> no, really. Um, do you need that longbow? Yeah, we have a cross for accuracy there. Yeah, should be a good choice. Um, what else? <clears throat> Obsidian javelin, I think. Tools. Curse waterproof blanket. Oh well. Ring. The brass ring is nothing. Yeah. 
Um, Thunder Wand of Cold with zero charges. Annoying. Um, boost toughness and holy water. Okay. Extra healing. We'll never use this boost charisma. Anything. Spellbook of Magic Map. Well, if I only had the brains to learn it. <laughs> well, do you have any great identify scrolls? We do. We have two of them, so let's let's use those. First on Perion's Mithril Plate Mail. It is an artifact. When worn, it modifies DV by minus one, PV plus thirteen. Resistance to fire and acid. It can be used as a missile. Uh, I guess we can throw it. Well, that's fairly disappointing. Um, the wiki if there's any hidden stats no okay <clears throat> well that's uh, no we don't need that oh. Oh, I can just drop it here now it's an artifact right <laughs> Uh, great identify. Let's check out the uh, shining long spear soaker. When yeah, DVPV uh, resistance to poison, paralyzation, and confusion attacks. Uses missile plus thirty six to hit and ten d four points of damage. Hmm. Sadly, it's not a demon slayer or anything like that. Quick check of the wiki as well. Uh, it's not one of the weakest weapons. No, sure. Uh, oh, it has jelly slaying. Well, we have seven million. Well, here it says it is a jelly slayer. But here it does not. Mm. Well, that could have been changed in this version of the game, I guess. Or maybe I need. Maybe it doesn't show up because the scroll of great identify was not blessed. That's possible. Well, I guess we'll keep it around. <clears throat> Um, we don't have any throne spear skills, and we have 700 million jelly slaying <laughs> ammunitions we'll never use, so... Well, okay, sort of disappointing um, artifact-wise, this vault, but, well, why not? Curious about the Javelin of Doom. Let me check that. Uh, yes, like I suspected, um, using this Javelin will make me doomed, so I'll drop it over here. Uh... Okay, well. This episode is at 44 minutes, so that's a nice place to stop. Um, yeah, it's not a very difficult vault, not, not very nice loot to be honest, but well, we fi did find some good stuff. You know, this uh, nice shield. Slightly better crossbow, and yeah, progress is progress. 
approaching level 25. Okay, well next time we'll dive further into the Dwarves of Chaos and uh, when we can then 